The results are presented in an app. These are mine here, and the orange boxes are things that I should perhaps be concerned about. It looks like I'm sensitive to carbohydrates and fat and salt and sugar. Pretty much a full house of orange boxes there. But it's important to remember that while people with certain genes might typically be predisposed to certain conditions like diabetes, just having the gene alone doesn't mean you will get it. And just as an example here, the app has showed that I'm not genetically predisposed to lactose intolerance even though I can't drink milk. Now, just because people with one gene might typically get a certain condition, that doesn't mean I will. So will the app be giving me advice that I might not necessarily need to follow? The whole point of the app is really just for you to make very small changes and your DNA can guide you. For example, just one packet of biscuits compared to the other will make no difference to you, but in the long term you would have saved eating probably a thousand spoonfuls of sugar without even knowing it. What it's done for me is reaffirm some of the choices that I've been making, which is very helpful, and of course also guiding me to make different selections. Anything that can help customers make healthier choices is really important, and particularly uh, new technology. I have pretty severe doubts about the validity and the value of genetic tests for things like diet recommendations. I don't think that there is anything you can gain from this type of genetic analysis which is significantly better or even comparable to standard dietary advice which is you know eat less sugar, eat less fat, eat less meat, generally eat less. I really question the value of having an app which will tell you eat less of this sugary biscuit compared to this sugary biscuit if you want to prevent yourself from getting diabetes. I can tell you for free without doing a genetic test, that you should probably eat the less sugary biscuit and eat a more balanced diet in general. You know, this is standard dietary advice.